How you doing, y'all? Matt, Massive Beers, here with another beer review. Not just another beer review, but a little bit of a buried acorn up in this piece in the form of, yeah, look at that label. This is one of my more favorite labels I've ever seen in all of Beardom. This is their 100, or 1,000, sorry, 1,000 Tiny Michael Jackson's Breakdancing in Your Mouth, Abbey Style Blondale. Yeah, um, I never saw this label before. I talked about this in the unboxing, so uh, humor me. Um, I never saw this label before, and I actually said to somebody, basically an artist, um, uh, they're asking about drawing something in beer or something like that. I'm like, hey, have you ever drawn Michael Jackson, the beer writer, doing a moonwalk? I thought I was being an original, um, but I am not. So I'm excited to dive into this. This is an Abbey Blonde. Uh, it's just, uh, this is an ultimate beer brewed with classic malts and inspired by the great beers of Belgium. Uh, this beer may cause you to digress and lead a happier life. Brewed in collaboration with Full Bore Craft Brewery in Syracuse. So it's a collab. I did not know it was a collab until I just read that. So there you go. Um, and like I said, this is just... This is Michael Jackson doing a moonwalk. Um, if you actually... Uh, a little bit of trivia for you. So if, the, if this... Um, ever comes up on Jeopardy, you know how to answer this question properly. What glass do I want to use? We want to use this one. Um, my original Mass of Beers logo, if you actually go and look at some of my old logos, um, basically look at old reviews and stuff, or you can go to my Facebook page or whatever and just look at like some of the old pictures in there and stuff like that, you'll see this MBR logo with a guy holding up a tulip uh, glass kind of on the edge of the MBR logo. That is Michael Jackson. This is a silhouette of him. So a bit of an homage to the man, the myth, the legend himself. Yeah. So love the artwork. Uh, so you're talking about a Belgian-style blonde ale. What's the EBV in this sucker? Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 Six, four. Six point four percent proper for a Belgian blonde. Um, and Belgian blondes, you would, you know, if you're not big into Belgian beers, if you think blonde ale, you probably think kind of boring. American blonde ales are probably one of the most boring styles of beer in the history of mankind. Now, there are some breweries that do American blonde ales that are really just kind of hoppy blonde ales, like, a, uh, you know, Alchemist does, and a couple of different people do. I'm talking base American blonde ale, just like boring style, whatever. Not such the case with the Belgian blondes. They can be uh, quite fun, quite yeasty. A little bit darker, than what I would expect a Belgian blonde to be. It almost looks like a triple in color as far as the coloration goes. Uh, so a bit darker than what I expect from a Belgian blonde, but a nice kind of head on it. Rich golden hue. Nose, nose. <sighs> malt forward, all malt forward. There is definitely a Belgian yeast here at play. You get a little bit of soft kind of um, uh, apple-y almost. I was gonna say kind of a fruitiness, but it's really distinctive of apple, not like an off flavor kind of stressed yeast kind of apple it's more of just coming from that kind of soft little powdery slightly bready kind of yeastiness with a little bit of apple to it but it really is this kind of rich kind of maltiness for its abv it comes off as this kind of candied portion so so i want you to think of like a caramelized candied apple but on a much less sweet scale like on a like very under sweetened so a nice ripe kind of apple a little bit of kind of a caramelization to that apple. That's kind of the vibe I'm getting here in a nose. Nothing too aggressive. It's a 6% Belgian blonde. It's not supposed to be aggressive, but it smells quite nice. Let's dive in. Cheers. Really does through, uh, follow through, sorry. And the taste almost gives me like apple cidery vibes to it. To be perfectly honest with you, I know Apple, a lot of times brewers don't want to hear that they think of kind of a negative kind of, you know, uh, association with Apple, um, being that it can be an off flavor, but it, it, when it comes to Belgian blondes like this, I believe it can be a purposeful, purposeful thing, and I think that's what the case is here. It's got this cool, slightly, not crackery, not doughy, bready, white bready, with a touch of of subtle kind of spiciness is almost like the whitest of white peppers in the history of mankind in combination with that soft little cider like kind of dollop in there it would almost take like that roadside cider you find around christmas time take that and, and just put like a capful or a shot glass into a gallon not a gallon like a big glass of water it's that kind of impact it's not overly aggressive in this nice for it style 
A very full mouthfeel. Actually, getting a little bit more kind of peppery notes, a little bit more spiciness in that second sip. <clears throat> yeah. It's, it's fun. Listen, I mean, a lot of the beers that was sent off to me um, from Sean, from Buried Acorn, are kind of my jams. You know, um, you know, a lot of malt fill forward stuff, Belgian for, uh, leaning stuff. And this is quite tasty. This is going to write the record books or change something about what Belgian golden ales are. No, it's just a tasty American interpretation of what a Belgian golden ale can be. It's very much traditional. Um, there is a little bit of extra little peppery spice here and the little bit of apple thing is probably a little bit bigger than what I typically get from like a Belgian style, um, golden ale, but it's all within frame and it's all within style guidelines and it just comes off as a really tasty beer and to boot, not gonna lie to you, bonus points for the label because the label is one of my favorite labels of all time. So yeah, tasty jammer. That's it. There's not much else to it. Nice mouthfeel, appropriate for, actually, probably a little bit fuller, but appropriate for its style. Um, I like the way it kind of shows. I like the way it kind of proves, and it's a very tasty beer. It's about Rushmore, like I said, of all Belgian gold nails. No, but it's damn tasty, and I'm glad I got two. Let's put it that way. Um, and, yeah, you guys speak to me about this. What are, you, what are your thoughts on Buried Acorn as a whole? Um, their beers, this beer specifically, if you've had this beer, come, let's talk, let's chat. Throw it down there. Let me know what you guys think, and uh, we'll go from there. So there you go. A couple more berry day corns coming down the chute, so hold on to your britches. That's a saying, right? Britches? Britches? Hold on your shorts. Whatever. Hold on to something. So, yeah. There you go. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hope to see you next time. Cheers, y'all.